welcome back. I'm Kelsey and PGK, and today we are playing more of the Not So Vera Challenge. I think it's finally time to move in to college. Hopefully today we find out if we made it into college, and if not, I guess we start our life of crime. I'm adding a mod that shortens the amount of time it takes to get a degree at college. I just feel like college is going to go really slowly and take up most of our young adult life, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to add like a little sneaky mod so I've adjusted it so instead of 10 credits it takes to graduate you only have eight I think that'll give us enough time to be at college but not feel like we're clinging on for so long it's a new era I'm like really nervous he's a young adult we're going to college I can't wait to get out to major mischief in college so we back here with our boy oh I'm so nervous I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm so excited I'm just like when 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 do I get to know I'm like nervous he's gonna laugh and I here he goes. <laughs> Actually pretty adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, Cory Aoki, I guess Cory's just a friend. Well, let's stress bake because we, you know, don't have anything else to do right now. We're baking level four, we need to finish it. Let's do a sourdough loaf. I've done a sourdough loaf before once. Just like in The Sims, you can check out that video on my channel, I'll link it below. It was pretty wild actually. It makes me kind of want to do it again because it was kind of cool. It was very scary though and stressful. Fox enjoying his cooking with his little face mask. Everyone's chilling. Looks like everybody might need to go to bed. Oh my gosh, look how gross. Poor Flame. Let's give Flame a bath after we finish baking our sourdough loaf. I love that he just decided one day to make a sourdough loaf. I don't think that's exactly how it works. It takes a lot more steps, but we're happy for him. Violet, where are you? Oh my gosh, Violet needs to go to the bathroom. She's probably gonna pee herself. Go use the bathroom upstairs with your mom and dads, okay? All these kids are not taking care of themselves when I'm not looking. Oh my gosh, she just beat herself. Wait, oh my gosh, Genevieve is over and she is pregnant. What the heck? And she also has a child. <gasps> She's married to Lucas Ogden. Oh my gosh, Genevieve got married. Good for you, Genevieve. I'm so happy for her. I'm glad that she found someone. I know it was like kind of touch and go for a long time for her, so. I also love that all my sims are enjoying the brownies that Fox has made. And also, it looks like Flame is nice and clean. It's weird that he can hook up with Genevieve. That is so weird. Weird, but I guess they're both adults. Can we check on our application status? Like, come on, I need to know. What is it gonna say? Please, 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 please. Do we get in? Please, do we get in? <gasps> oh my God, we got accepted into college. I'm so happy. Okay, we got accepted into, it looks like both. Amazing. Okay, so how do I pick? Enroll in a university. Yeah. Here we are, okay. So we're obviously going to Foxbury and we are going for a distinguished degree in villainy. Life isn't fair, but those who know how to exploit that unfairness end up on top. With courses that boost the fitness, logic, and mischief skills, a degree in villainy can set anyone up for success, as long as honesty and morals aren't a priority. Degree benefits, due to Foxbury's Institute's prestige in this area of study, this distinguished degree allows for entering at high level with a large signing bonus while greatly increasing daily pay, job performance, and vacation days of the following career. Boss, interstellar smuggler, or villain. I believe we're doing crime boss. For our class load, I kind of want to do three classes to start. Simple tricks and traps, pretending for profit, and effective bribery are our first three classes. He can actually remain living at home. He can move off campus, or we can go into university housing. Why is one way more expensive than the other? But I kind of want to go to the more expensive expensive one. <laughs> Uh, but we should probably save our money. It's fine. We're gonna go to the University Briny Tower. Then I'm going to eventually happen meet all of your guys' sims that we're gonna look through today too. And then he'll like move off campus for like the next semester. Just for this first one, we're gonna live in the dorms just for funsies. Oh, we did get a merit scholarship. Ooh, yay. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're gonna pay with the household funds. Thanks mom and dad. We can't bring Flame. It's okay though. I feel like Amethyst would 100% keep Flame at the house and transfer money. I'll do like 2,000 simoleons. If we need more, we'll just take more. Okay, it's fine. Oh my God, we're at university. 
here's the dorm. I love this room already and it's got orange theme. So I'm thinking this has got to be his bed. So we're going to assign this bed to Fox and this will be his bedroom because it's orange. It's already kind of perfect. Also, I forgot to add anything to his inventory. So that's on me. Oh wait, we do have some photos in our inventory. Oh yeah, it's baby flame. We'll add a little maybe black frame and we'll put this above our bed or maybe on our bedside table. Yes, our pet Fox will be here in spirit. Yeah, I think that's about all we need. This is so crazy, we're in college. We have to take final exam homework, give a presentation and take final. This is gonna be a lot of work, but I'm very excited about it. However, I'm going to save here and I'm going to go to Manage World and check out your guys' Sims in the gallery. Thank you guys in advance for uploading your Sims. I'm very curious what you guys have in store here. Ooh, a potential love interest, Annie Rowe, who also loves mischief. Very, very sweet. I like it, I like it, okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Wolf Finnegan. Wolf, though their name may come across as fierce and mighty, he is nothing like it. Wolf tries his hardest to appear tough, but they're a soft cuddle bug. They strive to cause mischief to make up for their gentle demeanor and want nothing else but have a partner in crime to achieve his goals with. I think this character looks so cute. Also, Wolf and Fox, imagine that duo. All right, I'm gonna heart that one. I love this. Thank you, Vexbug, for making Wolf for us. Tessa. Tessa's a fun, social, outgoing queen. She has a devious side hidden beneath the surface. Fox meets Tessa in their shared dorm at university and is immediately drawn to her style. He just knew right away, this girl could be trouble for me. Is she a friend, lover, or foe? We will find out. I love all your sims. They're all so pretty. Catalina is a Spanish kind, dorky girl that studies at Foxbury. When she meets her new enemy, Foxberry, they need to work together for an elective, but she just can't deal with his attitude. He thinks he's the coolest and it seems like he takes pleasure in making fun of her. But with time, Catalina finds herself missing his voice, his scent, and gets even more annoyed to make matters worse. Fox needs to worry about her. Do opposites really attract? Ah! I love Catalina. I like that they like just don't get along. It's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, we love this. Ooh, these Sims are hot, so I will peruse. Aspiring hacker Jamie and her future DJing influencer brother Davey are ready for college. This fun-loving duo always seem to find where the trouble is. Maybe in a new brightly colored friend and a perchant for crime. I just think the Sims are cute, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heart that one. Ooh, this Sim is pretty. Simone West was born into the famous West criminal family and still has the tattoos and piercings to prove it. Boys knew she was destined for more. Her and Fox get off on the wrong foot at college because he represents the life she's trying to lead. But who doesn't love an enemies to lovers moment? Only time will tell of these two. Hopefully you have all the CC you use. I hope I do. I think I have some of it. Taryn Yang is a shy, goofy art student who always has her head in a book. Who knows? Maybe the right sim could make her look up. Oh, that's so cute. I think this would be a fun sim to have against Fox because he's such a little bad boy. I feel like a little book lover would be kind of fun to see. Hacker girl friend for Fox. Woo! Oh, she's cool. Being tech savvy, Desiree's enrolled to work on getting a programming degree. What she's going to do with this degree? Probably not noble pursuits, which could be exactly what Fox needs for a crime and mayhem. She's really cute. I love it. Ooh, Sam Lay. Sam's never really needed to try when it came to school. Part-time jobs and making friends, it all just came naturally to her. As a result, she's extremely laid back and just goes with the flow. Perfect balance to Fox's chaos. I think she's super cute cute and cool. I'm gonna save Sam. She seems very cool. Oh, look at this guy, Hayes. Roman Hayes went to high school with Fox and if there's one thing he knew about him, it's that he hated him. He was a jerk. Roman was bullied and Fox never bullied him, but the pranks he played were too similar to Roman's bullies version of jokes. Roman vowed to one day make them all pay. He also hated that Fox seemed to flirt with everyone but him, but will that change? Oh, he's cute. I like him, I like him. I think it's funny that he's like, I can't believe he never paid attention to me. Ooh, Kristen Brown. Bradshaw is an engineering major whose goal is to one day make a servo bot to do all our tasks for her and possibly conduct mischief for Fox. Very pretty. I love it. I love it. We've got plenty of Sims now. Thank you everyone who made some Sims for me. So I put them all in the world. Some of them I gave a bit of a makeover with the CC that I do have and some of them I didn't get to. So if we do run into some Sims that are half naked, I will fix it, I promise. <laughs> so what do we do first? I mean, there's so many things to do. We don't really need to unpack. University homework. What's my class schedule? like class in three days, class in four days, class in three days. Ooh, we've got plenty of time before class. Do homework for effective bribery. We're actually doing homework for once. I'm kind of proud of them. And then this is our term presentation. We might just have to, you know, get some stuff done here. Actually work a little bit in school. I'll be super bored though. I'm not surprised. I'm like hoping that some of this, oh my God, is that his roommate? Kumiko is his roommate. 
right? Because Kumiko's kind of hot. But I promised I would wait for your guys' sims. None of which have shown up here. It looks like not much is going on. So we'll probably go to like a library or something to see if we run into any of your guys' sims. We'll just travel, okay? We're gonna travel and see if we run into any of your guys' sims, hopefully at the library. I'm hoping that they'll just spawn and it won't be these same people, so. Oh wait, the Laurel Library. We've gotta go to the Laurel Library. I feel like that one definitely will have some of your guys' sims. And meanwhile, we'll maybe like work on our homework or whatever, be like a good student, at least for the first little bit. And then we'll find out whether or not we can uh, get into trouble. Here he is looking adorable as always. Look at my little bean. He needs to get a little breakout, maybe a little stress. The librarian seems really angry today, so we might not want to mess with them. Oh, oh, it's one of your sims, it's one of your sims. I did it guys, I did it. It's one of your sims. Looking adorable as Annie Rao. Okay, let's do a little flirty introduction. Let's see how he likes her. Stop doing your homework. A hottie stepped in. Hottie alert, hottie alert. So my game plan for romance is I think that I want to have kind of like two major romantic characters in my sims life. One will be the sim that we actually have the children with and like one will be like the sim that we actually like maybe settle down with. I think they might be two different people. Just to like mix things up. I think that, you know, a lot of the time I'll like break up and like, you know, but get back together with the same Sam. I think I want Fox to maybe have a couple different great loves of his life. So, oh, Annie immediately was down for our flirtations. They ask if Annie's single, be like, you single girl? Like immediately leads with romance. But I actually really like Annie. I love how I just said, oh, I, I want to lead with having two romantic interests. And now I'm like, I feel like I want to have Annie's babies and also marry Annie. We find her very attractive and it's a little too early to tell, but we're interested in Annie. Oh my gosh, we gotta grab this next to Annie. We're gonna go in there and troll, but we're gonna sit next to Annie and be like, whoa, what are the odds that we sat right next to you at the computer right next door? What's, what are the odds? What are the odds, Annie? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? He's so evil. She actually kind of finds his evilness kind of entertaining, which is adorable. Oh, she's clumsy. That's so cute. Nothing more endearing than a clumsy sim, I tell ya. I also really like that she has tattoos and this like septum piercing. I just feel like she's totally his type. Meet someone new. He also wants to meet someone new. Well, that was short-lived. Ask about her degree. Ooh, what's she enrolled in? Oh, Annie just left. Annie, no! Okay, can we do her homework on here? Coursework. Cheat on homework. Oh, I kind of want to cheat. Pretending for profit. But I feel like they'll reward us for cheating in this line of work, you know? Oh, we completed it. Look, it's done. Pretending for profit homework's done. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm hoping that we don't get caught. <laughs> We're gonna get away with whatever we can. Our homework is complete. That was so fast. I guess we do need to give a presentation. Maybe we'll work on that. Capture information. School spirit day is happening at the Foxborough campus. Oh, we're gonna go to that. Never mind. But is my game okay? Look at all these notifications for school spirit. Anyway, I think the school spirit team really wants us to go. So we're gonna go. I was really sad that that one sim ran away so quickly though. Annie. I am walking. Annie like was there and then she was gone. You know, she was very magical that way, but we got a bit of a flirt in. We got a little cheeky flirt in with Annie. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into her more. Maybe we won't. Maybe she'll be endgame. Maybe she won't be. Everything's a possibility. Is it over here? I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. Spirit day. All right. And these are other students. Kind of looks a little bit like there's none of your guys' sims because they're not technically students. I can figure out how to cheat them all to be students soon. And let me know in the comments how I can cheat everybody to be students. Here we go. We're at the event, baby. Play Juice Pong with a teammate. Jasmine, why don't you be my teammate? And we're gonna play against Rhonda and Makoto. Juice Pong out on the quad. Listening to whatever this music is. Change the station. We want some like fun things. There we go. Yes, turn it up. Let's go. We're having a good time. Yeah, we're beating Makoto pretty badly. He's crying over our Juice Pong skills. Can't help it, okay? Yeah, look how happy Fox was to, to win that one. Now now it's Rhonda's turn. Oh, wow, they've gotten into none. We've gotten into two. Aw, oh, poor Rhonda. It's okay, Rhonda girl. It's okay, it's okay. Apparently I am the superior teammate here. Use a bold pickup line on someone. I mean, if we could invite Annie here, maybe then we'll use a bold pickup line on Annie. Our eyes are not orange anymore. What is happening? We only have one left. We're so close. Come on team. Let's go team. Oh, uh-oh, they're, they're getting closer. Come on, Fox. He's feeling very confident. Didn't even 
even look and got it in. Oh my gosh, impressive. Oh, he definitely owned the other team. And Juice Pong is done. What a fun game. The win goes to Foxberry with a score of four. Sorry, Rhonda and Doe. Better next time. Annie's gonna be right over. Why don't we go to the bathroom? Quick, run. And then we'll have to go find Annie and use a bold pickup line on her. He's feeling so confident. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Where's Annie? There she is. She's just chilling. Let's use a bold pickup line on her. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but the music students are really going hard right now. Walking over to Annie. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Oh, Annie. I think Annie might really like Fox. But she likes a bit of a bad boy. All right, Annie, come along with us. We're gonna go over there, order a sausage roll. Hopefully our Annie will come with us. Oh, it ended. Can we like be rude to the mascot? I feel like that sounds like something he would do. I think you can just high five the mascot. I think we're gonna avoid the mascot, but it looks like we can't go get food over there anymore. Rats. Where did Annie go? Uh, she left. Okay. Are you walking, Annie? Annie doesn't stick around long. She mostly likes to say hi and then peace out. It looked like there were like food places to go outside of the dorms, but they're all closed. The dorm doesn't even have a kitchen. Let's go to like the main center then, the main like community area. We'll see if maybe like that's where we can eat some food, although he's looking really tired, but it's fine. We're gonna go to Larry's Lagoon, the Foxbury Commons. I think we need like one of those mini fridges. That's what I had in college. Here we are. Okay, perfect. It does look like we can order some food. Dinner opens at 5 p.m. It is 5 p.m. Give me dinner. Excellent. Yay, food is up order some food. We'll get an herb crusted salmon. That sounds good. I guess it's all included in tuition. Thank goodness. We're not feeling too hot. We're eating our herb crusted salmon. And now we're feeling pretty confident, you know? We cheated on our homework. We met a hottie. Now we're at the commons. Everything's gonna be great. Doesn't look like there's anyone else here. Whitney is like, oh, I wanna go to the romance festival. No, Whitney, we're not together anymore. I'm in college, okay? I'm in a new scene. I wanna meet new people. Let's go back to our dorm. Oh, wait, that's one of your sims. That's one of your sims. This is Catalina. Let's have like a cheerful introduction because we're so charming. Reed is wondering if I wanna go over in his house and hang out. Oh, I do wanna go hang out with Reed, but I'm about to meet someone. Reed, just like, hold on, okay? I wanna meet Catalina first. <gasps> <gasps> Attractiveness alert. Wow, what a sim. Foxberry just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found them some staring at Catalina Ruse. That woman has so many of the qualities that make Fox's heart race as if it was on a cross country marathon. Their beautiful features meet Fox's desire so readily that it's almost as if whatever created the sim sculpted her specifically for Fox. Ooh, Fox is crushing. He wants to kiss her. That's how much he likes her. Can we kiss her hands? Will that count? That'd be like kind of a bold move from Fox, but he is really feeling her. She liked it. She was like, that's very kind of you. We really stink, but we're gonna keep trying to flirt with her. He's showing off his little muscles to her. Oh, she liked it. Oh my gosh, he's like about to pass out. He's so tired. Also, Catalina's also blushing right now. So I think she also has the hots for him, which is super cute. Okay, and then she's headed out. Come on, Fox, you're meeting all the women. Not as many men that he's into. Okay, bye, King, you do you. Are we showering off? We're gonna get to bed around like 10. That's pretty impressive. Do you mind if I come make you some cake? Whitney, let it go, okay? We did it in high school. It's over now. Let me see. Sleep. Uh, we're still thinking about her probably. I wonder if he's gonna have like a little sassy dream about her. Kumiko's our roommate. That's cool. Maybe we should be friends with Kumiko. Even though I think Kumiko's cute. Maybe we should just have Fox be besties. Hey, handsome. I'm in the mood. Want to spend some time together. Oh, Annie is inviting us to a date. I feel like we're, yeah, we're gonna go. It's a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Annie's like early, early riser. Ooh, it looks like Annie might have invited us over to her place. But Roman's here. Oh my God, he also finds Roman hot. I'm dying. What a sim. Foxberry just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Roman Hayes. Oh no, poor Annie invited him for a date and he's crushing hard on her roommate. Oh my gosh, we can have polite introduction. Did we seriously age up with like a polite being a polite sim? Let me see. Good manners. <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to be so the case, but that's fine. Let's do a cheerful introduction. Let's go all inside, everyone. I love that Fox is super into him. That makes me super happy. Our king, he has a, a type for blonde boys. He likes blonde boys and brunette girls. That's his vibe. Why don't we bake for them? Because you know, we love to bake for people. We haven't done the cheesy bread yet. Let's do the cheesy bread next. Oh, Bronco the cat is vibing in here. There's a lot of cats in this house. His evil plan is to bake 
make them cheesy bread and get together with Roman. Him and Roman hit it off really well because he's so charming. You can't be mad at a bad boy who loves to bake though. Like I'd be charmed by that too, to be honest. Here's our cheesy bread. Why don't we call everyone to the meal? Be like, hey everyone, I made you guys cheesy bread. If you guys want some, come over. Wait, he's even blushing though. Normally if the other Sim is blushing, it means they might have a crush on you. Cause that's how like my mod works. And he's blushing hard. Okay, let's ask him about some stuff. Discuss some interests. Like what are you into Roman besides me? Deep conversation. Are the cats fighting? I'm hearing some, oh my God, the cats are fighting. Oh, Bronco is the old cat and Bronco got hurt by Flash. I want to like adopt them. Annie's coming over. Oh my gosh, look at this boy trying to impress Fox, but Annie's come over to try to sit with him. We'll have a bit of a snuggle, you know? He might have an eye for Roman, but it doesn't mean he doesn't want to snuggle with Annie. Theo wants to chat. Yeah, dad, we can chat with you. Hold on, sorry, Annie, my dad is calling. Oh my God, he gave her a bit of a kiss. Even Annie's doing push-ups to impress him. Oh my gosh, and look who just sat next to us is Roman. Ooh, uh, Theo spread some juicy gossip about Slate. I wonder what Slate is up to. Discuss fitness techniques. What else does he want to do? Admire yourself in a mirror. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, it looks like this Sim is pregnant, Mackenzie Daniel. And then Fox is gonna go check himself out in the mirror. He's feeling so confident. He's like, I can have anyone that I want at college. College is gonna rule because everybody wants me. He wants to propose a crazy scheme to someone. I feel like he proposed it to Annie. He's so proud of himself for going over and getting invited to Annie's house and meeting Annie's hot roommate. I'm deceased. I feel like he wants to compliment her roommate. Compliment outfit. He can compliment the roommate's outfit without being like flirty. Ooh, there's a utility bot contest. Oh, it's in the quad. Maybe we should all go together. Let's all go to the utility bot contest in the quad. You know, because it makes sense. Especially like when you're a freshman, at least this was my experience when I was in college. I went to every event. Like I went to all of them because I didn't know anybody. And that was like the quickest way to meet people is to just say yes to everything. So that's what I'm doing with our boy Fox right now. Oh my gosh, but it's raining. Yes, it's in the quad. Okay, let's all go here together. Come on team, let's go. I know it's raining, but we're young and spry. We can hang out in the rain. It's fun, makes it fun. Oh, the rain stopped. Oh good, I'm glad. Cause I'm like, um, if they're getting robots out there, that might not be exactly what you want to have in mind. Oh my gosh, look at these bots. I want to play with some of these bots here. Oh, you can flirty and Introduce yourself to a robot. That's hilarious. Let's do a funny introduction. And then we'll maybe grab some food. Falafel. Oh, that sounds so good. Let's get a falafel wrap. Now I'm hungry. We're introducing ourselves to Hera Robota. Hera Robota is very uncomfortable for this robot event thingy. Ooh, look at the fixer bot. This is kind of cool. Oh, it kind of looks like our Annie over here is not okay. Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? I am okay. Kind of looks like Annie might not be okay. Let's check on Annie. Maybe she's upset because we kind of have been chatting up her roommate. She's like, I thought this was gonna be a date and then he just invited my roommate. Meanwhile, we're just chilling. And of course, Ronan's chatting up Lilith, one of the bot savants members. Ooh, and Annie is right up next to us, immediately wanting to talk with us. Yeah, she does look sad. Catalina wants to go on a date. Oh my God, we're already out with friends. But I kind of want to go on a date with Catalina. He's so popular. Yeah. Let's Let's go. Sorry, Annie, I got invited out to something, but it was so nice uh, to hang out with you and meet your roommate. Mm -hmm. Invite me whenever. Bye. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Catalina invited us on a date to Sulani, a bar in Sulani. Catalina, that was a choice. Maybe ask about favorite color. Is it orange? Cause uh, I got a thing for the color orange. But I love this cause like Catalina's his big crush besides Ronan. She likes the color orange and the color pink and the color yellow. Wow. Likes the color orange. Whoever made Catalina really did make him for him. All right, what does he want to do now? Make a friend. I guess we could become friends. Ask about hobbies and skills. It's so funny cause he like, kind of wants to have a water balloon fight. Wait, how do a water balloon fight? Can we do that? I think we could probably do that now. Let's try. Water balloon bucket, baby. We'll pop that over here. Just nice little flirty water balloon fight. No big deal. Excellent date fodder here. Here he goes. Oh, miss. Bad job, bad job. She's laughing at him for his fail. All right, here she goes. 
Oh, she missed too. Not much better than us. She's a little embarrassed and he's laughing at her. Hot daydreaming, but when he's with Catalina, he's thinking about Roman Hayes. Fox's head remembers Roman Hayes fondly as memories of him begin to populate his mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Roman manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring Fox intense amount of joy. Their encounter last time was too brief and now Fox is thirsty for more. Oh my God. Can you not just be happy with the person that you're with? Fox. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's such a player. I hate it. Oh my God, first kiss. That is so romantic. You should definitely have your first kiss with her. So romantic after their water balloon fight. It's gonna stick it on her, as they say in Love Island. So cute. Wow, she liked it. I think that's not his first kiss. But it's their first kiss. Oh, and she's flirting with him. Whoa, I'm not even doing this now. He's holding her hand. Maybe they knew each other in high school and he bugged her. And then now that they're older, she's kind of like warming to him. So I remember your story is that she didn't like him, but that clearly didn't work out for either of them because they're super into each other. It's working out. Oh, he's hungry again. Are you kidding? We could be skill building here. Maybe we'll work on our charisma and we'll just do charismatic things with her. They got a sentiment. It really means a lot to me that you make time just for me. That's very sweet. Oh, she's feeling very flirty around him. Maybe a little sweet talker. It seems like she's really into him. Oh my God, Andy's calling us. Hey Fox, I've been thinking about getting to know Rhonda Endo better as a friend. Oh, Rhonda! Yes, we played juice pong with her. I think you should go for it. She looked awesome. Oh, Catalina's like kind of over him. All right, Catalina, sassy. He's gonna offer her a rose, but then she disappeared. Oh, spicy. All right, Fox, let's go home. He went on like kind of two dates today, back to back. This boy. But I feel like we need to get to know Roman too. He might be like dating three people at once. <laughs> I can see him doing that though. Sorry, I'm not sorry. We're hungry. Oh, whose cookies are those? Doesn't matter, we'll eat them. Oh no, they're gross now. Never mind. we are not eating any of the food here. I wish there was just something to make food. I don't know how these Sims are making food. Regardless, we're just chilling. We were eating something. The rest of our falafel wrap, good for us, good for us. Maybe we'll work on our project since it's Sunday night. Do we have school tomorrow? Yeah, we have class tomorrow. Baby's first day at school is gonna be tomorrow. Oh, look at him. Just really actually working on this. I love the little cat right there. That's really cute. I really want to get to know our roommate though. There she is. Okay, let's do a polite introduction. We're like kind of half done with this. Oh, Theo wants to come celebrate. Yeah, dad, you can come by. Why not? Pumiko, we should just be friends. All right, hi, dad. Sure, family movie night spirit. What's up, dad? Ask for some birthday money. Be like, it was my birthday, dad. You're not gonna give me birthday money? Low Theo did give us, he got us 200 simoleons. Thanks, dad. You're so nice. All right, let's watch a movie. We'll watch Clumsy Sisters with dad and our roommate. Oh, he's so feeling flirty from date delight. There's nothing like a successful date. And I'm dating. He likes that he's been going on some dates and he's making new friends and having new kissing. Aren't you watching the TV? All right, he's going to bed apparently. All right, you put that away and he's going to go to sleep. Well, we tried to do family movie night with dad, but apparently dad didn't work because now we're going to bed. But you know, it is 9 p.m. He's right on a good schedule. I'm kind of shocked. But dad apparently is getting to know our, our roommate and our roommate's friend Mia Garcia. I'm sure all the girls are thirsting after him and all the boys. I think he might be the hottest elder I've had so far on this challenge here. He's so funny. He doesn't want to be disrupted. His kids are always following the roommate from room to room being like, what's up? But she went to bed now and dad's like, all right, I gotta go feed my cow plant. Good to see you all. Glad you're settled into college. Kind of looks like Fox went there on his own. His parents didn't help him move in or anything. And we're up at 3 a.m. We'll go on a jog. Maybe we'll see other Sims that you guys made on the jog too. It's a good way to start the day, you know, work on our fitness. I feel like fitness has something to do with this career. I don't remember what it is though. We gotta be fit to get in fights. We're working out so that if we get in a fight, we'll win. He's feeling confident. He's also feeling confident because he had a kiss. He has perfect skin. Skin. He's spending time with people that he likes. He's having a blast. Yeah, I don't know why I thought there might be other Sims around during his run. He is running at 4 a.m. It really makes sense that Foxberry is at Foxbury. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even plan that. Nice. You know how like when you're jogging, you like go over your thoughts in your head. I feel like Fox, while he's been jogging, is thinking about when I am the crime boss, things are gonna change for me. Like I'm gonna get all this respect. No one's gonna think of me as cute. Everyone's gonna fear me and think I'm so cool. And I'm doing it all because someday I wanna become besties with death because I helped save my grandmother as a child. So I sold my soul to the devil. And now I'm a little evil. I try to fight against it, but also I'm good at it. Let's be real. Breakfast 
opens at 7 a.m. Let's keep capturing some information for another couple hours. Class is at 11, I think, is our first class. Perfect. So we got plenty of time to work on our little board here while we wait for the breakfast to open. What a little bean. I'm so proud of him. Maybe we should have done four classes. I think it's too late, though. We Our mischief went up, though, from finishing this term presentation. Or I think almost finishing it. I don't know. Maybe we have to work on it more than once. We're fine and organized. Okay, there we go. I know you're hungry, buddy, but it's not open yet. You gotta wait like 10 more minutes. Who start of term? Foxberry's university term begins today and will last for five weekdays. He should take a look at his class schedule and plan on when to do his homework and study, when to eat, and if there's time left, when to kick back and have some fun. Let's put this in our inventory. We're working hard on that. All right, let's grab some food. Ooh, add a little spice. Yeah, for fun. And then we're gonna grab French toast. He's gonna add a little spice to it. He's gonna spike something. Look at him. He sounded like salt. Oh, she's all mad at him. He's just like, I'm messing, I'm messing. He's probably gonna be really bad and not wanna give him any food, but it's too late, we're getting the food. Yeah, you stink, I know. We'll get you to the shower after. Ooh, Annie's calling. Rhonda, Endo, and I had a blast together. Oh, I'm glad you bonded with Rhonda. All right, let's go home. That's so cute, I'm glad they hung out. We're back, baby. We gotta take a shower. And then we've got a little bit of time before class. Is he going to class? He's getting to class early. Look at our little bean. Because he's interested in it, but also he does want to be the best. So, oh, are you in our class? Kumiko could be like our rival. Maybe Kumiko will be our second hand man or woman in this case. We'll be the crime boss, but we need our second in command that we can trust. Yeah, I believe in that. So we're gonna vibe with Kumiko. She's like, wow, but happy that this weekend you got some, man. Happy for you. We're gonna brighten her day. Oh my gosh, do you wanna go out on a date? No, thing. I had fun on the first day, but I have class to get to in a couple minutes. We're gonna be on time. On time, go buddy, go. He's like five minutes late. Go to class, go to class. Let's actively listen. We're gonna get some skills in our first class, which is simple tricks and traps. Fox turned his homework confidently in that class and squeezed every bit of knowledge he could out of it. That kind of effort will surely be helped to his final grade, of course. Oh my gosh, got away with it. I'm shook. Not started, effective bribery. Oh, cause we went to effective bribery this morning. That's the one we went to. So actually that's the one we did do our homework for. And our next class in three hours. Oh, Reed's calling. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I love this sim so much. So Reed just called and said, so I found a ring in Slate's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? Gah! You have to say yes! Oh my god, you're right. Of course I should say yes. What was I thinking? Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god. Next time we have like some free time, we're gonna have to hang out with them and like see if they're engaged. If they're not engaged, we'll have them get engaged in front of us. By the way, we're chilling. Maybe we'll we'll chat with Kumiko, who seems like, yeah, I feel like they might be in the same major. It'd be fun having Kumiko be like our right hand person. But yeah, we're gonna work on our homework kind of while we're talking. Kumiko was like, I gotta go, but good hanging. He's like, all right, we'll finish our homework later. We got to class early, so we're gonna chill until it's class time. Who's that? I like your jacket, but I don't like anything else. Okay, we're off to class. Goodbye. Okay, this is the class that we cheated on our homework, so I'm very interested. So I hope we get away with it. Obviously, as a disclaimer, my Sims should not be a representation on how anyone should act in real life. Obviously, it's a video game, so anything that my Sims do cannot be held against me, including cheating. Fox turned in his homework confidently and squeezed every bit of knowledge he could out of the class. He was caught cheating on his homework. His grade will suffer as a result and he's receiving official warning. Any more attempts to cheat may result in academic probation or suspension from the university. Dang it! Boo. All right, let's finish our homework. We don't have any more classes for today. Maybe we'll go home and work on our homework. Or we could go to the library and work on our homework, see if we run into anyone. I want to hang out with Slate and Reed and see if they're going to get engaged. That's what I want to do right now. I'm gonna have them meet me at the library and see if they're already engaged. And if not, they're going to propose in front of me so that I get to witness it. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. <gasps> Congratulations on engagement. Stop it. I think they're engaged. Okay, I'm gonna congratulate them on their engagement. Congratulations, we're so excited for your engagement. Can't wait for the wedding. Enthuse about upcoming wedding. Be like, oh my God, I can't. Also like right out of high school for Slate, cause Slate's still technically in high school. I don't know why there was a negative reaction from it. Maybe mom and dad aren't that excited that the kids are getting engaged this young. I wanna be his sim of honor. We have to get an invite to this wedding. Also, we have to have the wedding. I'm so excited for them. Ah! 
I can't believe they got engaged. I was kind of hoping that I would get to watch them get engaged, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure they, you know, wanted to do it privately or whatever. I think Slate's only a couple days younger. Yeah, he only has like two more days of being a teen, so maybe they're like kind of wrapping up school or whatever. Also, Slate's coming in here. Maybe we're showing Slate and Reed our college. You know, be like, you could join me at college. Oh, fireworks at the humor and hijinks festival. Yeah, okay, let's go. We were gonna do homework, but we're obviously going to bring Reed, Roman. Maybe we'll invite Kumiko, because Kumiko's our friend. You know, what can I say? I just am a busy guy with the social calendar. I can't help it that I'm an extrovert and I'm busy and I can't go to go study all the time, okay? It's fine. I got my homework done for like class tomorrow because I cheated, but still, I'll be fine. They probably won't catch me this time. Oh, it's raining. Oh no, it's stormy. Oh my God, my crush is here. Wait, what? since when is Roman here? It says I invited him, but I totally didn't invite Roman. We're obviously going to bring Reed, Roman. Also, is this one of your guys' sins? Desiree, yes, this is Desiree. Let's adjust Desiree really fast. Later. We'll give Desiree even more of a makeover at some point. Oh my gosh, and Annie is here. So many people of your guys' sins are here, but we have to meet Desiree. Maybe Desiree and I are enemies. I don't know. We don't have any enemies yet. So maybe I'll rudely introduce myself to Desiree real quick first. Oh no, he has a hots for Desiree too. And I just rudely introduced myself. Wow, he is hot for so many of your guys' sims. I am so shocked. And he's so into her. Oh my God, this is so funny. Okay, the humor and hijinks has begun. We should drink from, which one is it? That's the jokesters. No, we're gonna be the pranksters for sure. Everyone in my squad join with me. She's like, that was really offensive and I hate you. And he's like, sorry, bye. Bye, Desiree. Oh my God, she's so hot. <laughs> He has a crush on everyone. What are you, Fox? You literally walk in and meet one sim and have a crush, are immediately crushing. So we need to become more pranksy. Imply T sabotage. Convince T is poisonous. He's like, they sabotaged with a disco ball. And Roman's like, oh my gosh, really? They're like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Roman. Oh my gosh, Desiree, what are you doing? Desiree's taking a shower in the rain. Good for you, Desiree. Yeah, we're being chaotic in the best way. Give her a little pickup line. I feel like she'll hate it and it'll be really funny. Desiree's gonna be maybe the one sim that will be like, um, I'm not falling for your charm there, mister. Ooh, we reached me to level seven. Good job, pranksters are in the lead, yes. We're gonna try to flirt with Desiree in front of everyone and see if she likes it. She's probably gonna hate him and it's gonna be funny. Yeah, she is not into it, absolutely rejected. Poor Desiree is looking rough. I'm gonna just give her a bit of a makeover really, really quick. Later. It's a very awkward encounter. I feel like he is being so chaotic right now. Oh, he likes mischief. Of course you like mischief, my son. A sinister personality type. Who's got that? Desiree. Oh, Desiree has a sinister personality type. That might be a good match for him. We are crushing it with everybody. This is so chaotic. I love it. We are just trying to convince everybody that he has been sabotaged and be mischievous. Joke about marriage. Don't do that. Don't do that. They just got engaged. The pranksters won. We got a voodoo doll and fireworks. He's watching the fireworks all go down. Oh, look at this. So cool. What a fantastic evening. Oh, Amethyst is here? Stop. Mom showed up? Look at his mom. Mom is here. Give her a nice hug. She's mocking. She's teasing us. Classic mom. I just don't know how to feel about her makeover. She looks so much older than her husband right now, but oh, there's so cute. Let's end this here and go home. But I find it very entertaining that he met up with Desiree and Desiree has no patience. A festering grudge. Desiree's sentiments about Fox. She's just like so over him and he's like, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I cannot believe he is crushing on so many Sims. It's so funny. <laughs> so we have pretending for profit tomorrow. We're actually doing a pretty good job. I'm pretty proud of us. We're going to bed and we've got more class tomorrow, but I'm gonna leave this one here. Let me know in the comments, who are your favorite of the characters that Fox has met so far? Who are you interested in to maybe see a romantic relationship develop? Who do you think should be the parent of the children who might be end game? I want all of your guys' thoughts in the comments and until next time, I will see you around the internet very soon. Bye. I almost think that Orange Gen is giving Rose Gen a run for their money in terms of who is the most romantic sim. <laughs>